Hi, my name is Eric Nakajima, and I'm happy to be with you today to share with you the reasons why I'm running for state representative for the 3rd Hampshire District in Amherst, Pelham, and Granby. I've been out campaigning since the beginning of March, knocking on doors, going to events, and meeting you, and I've had an absolute blast doing so. We're going to be campaigning hard straight through September 4th, but there's a chance I might not get a chance to make it to your door. If I don't, I'd love to hear from you. Please write me at ericnakajima gmail.com or contact me through my website at ericnakajima.com. You can also find out great information there about my background and positions on issues, as well as learn how to volunteer or donate to the campaign. One of the big things I've heard from people during this campaign is how unsettling these times are. Whether it's national issues with Donald Trump going after the environment, undocumented immigrants, the rights of women, and undercutting collective bargaining and the rights of unions, or even in our own community, where over the last few months, we've now lost our entire legislative delegation up and down the Pioneer Valley, one through a tragic death, another through resignation, and then through other retirements that are occurring. Even in the town of Amherst, with our turnover in, a, in town government to a new town council, uh, we're looking forward to an entire new day. That's exciting, but it also can be deeply unsettling. I share those concerns, and it's one of the reasons why I'm running to be state representative. At every step of the way in my life, I've been happy to take on challenges that help to bring people together, work collaboratively through consensus building techniques, to bring my expertise in public policy, to make a difference on things that really matter to us. That's why I took on the school committee a little less than two years ago. We all know that we face significant challenges in our school district. Well, I'm a proud product of our schools. My mom is a school teacher in our district a number of years ago. I graduated from the Amherst Public Schools as well as UMass. And I understand deeply the value of public education as a gateway to opportunity in life, to expand your horizons for personal and human fulfillment, and to be a full member of our community. It was absolutely unacceptable to me that our schools would be allowed to be not only in disarray, but also as governance issue, but also uh, to become a bit of a laughing stock, frankly, when I would go around the state. That's why I, I stepped in to be chair of the regional school committee. Um, the members of the school committee are fantastic. We work together, and I think we've made substantial progress. That's one of the skills I want to bring to bear, a real devotion to this community, a devotion to working collaboratively with others, and a devotion to results. I think that's needed more than ever now. If you look at what's going on nationally, with the rollback of EPA regulations, and if you look at what's going on here in our state with chronic underinvestment in public education, skyrocketing student debt, and frankly, kind of a flat or stagnating efforts on climate change, where we need to invest in green infrastructure, green buildings, including zero energy elementary schools, we need to fully fund Chapter 70, which is a state program that funds our schools. And I deeply believe because of the amount of money we need to do this, uh, over a billion dollars by many estimates, we need to separate out charter school funding from our local municipal budgets to fund a separate state line item. We all know our property taxes are higher than we'd like them to be. It puts a lot of strain on seniors and many other families. So we need to do more at the state level to relieve the burden on our communities. And on climate change, I strongly believe we need to move to a carbon pollution fee, one that, create, that creates a, fee, a fund to invest in green infrastructure uh, and mitigation of, for low-income families and communities, and also that expands transportation and public transit. We also need a progressive income tax to do the same thing. These are specific issues that need to be addressed, and they're going to take a lot of hard work to do. That's why I'm so pleased to be able to bring my experience, not only in our community, but also on Beacon Hill as Assistant Secretary for Governor Patrick. I served eight years working with legislators, municipal officials, labor unions, and many others in order to be able to draft legislation and implement programs that are making a difference to people right now across our Commonwealth. I want to bring that experience and those skills to you here in the 3rd Hampshire District. That's why I'd be honored to have your vote and your help in this race and your partnership after September 4th. Again, please write me at ericnakajima.com to learn more, and please reach out. I'd love to talk to you and work with you now and in the future. Thanks so much.